Educators grappling with the new reality of online learning, they're facing yet another dilemma when schools physically open in September. How to ensure physical distancing in classrooms which are packed to capacity and in some cases poorly ventilated? Janella, Janella Precious picks up that story. Three schools, three principals, but they have one thing in common. They're trying to decide how to configure the classrooms at their respective institutions ahead of the September 7th start of the new school year. Here's why it's perhaps one of the greatest headaches for school administrators. The average public school has as many as 40 students in a class. Now, given physical distancing guidelines in light of the coronavirus, this is a problem. In this area is one classroom and it, it, it's very small. Sometimes when you walk into this classroom, it's a number of students, you know, it, it, it would be, again, impossible to even think about having social distance seen. Under normal circumstances, the students are visiting this close. With social distancing, we'll have to skip one seat. We'll have to do that. Many of our students are cultured a particular way. They are cultured to be close up to each other because um, and to interact with each other. It is a part of, of school life to interact within close, close proximity to each other. Um, and it, it requires a cultural shift. These are all high schools, but the sitting arrangements at some primary schools are even more problematic. It's not just one, but two, and in some cases, three to a seat. If we were to observe social distance now, with, 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 with um, the space that we have available, we'll be talking about eight students per class. And, and I don't know what will happen to the rest of the children. Many of the schools we visited all report being overpopulated. Some are considering, among other things, a possible return to the shift system. Principal of the York Castle High School, Raymond Treasure, says he's exploring makeshift classrooms in the auditorium, the use of tents, and continuing online learning where possible. Certainly in, 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 in taking, in, in, for intake, we'll have to reduce intake as well. Because in the past where we would accept, say, 225 students for grade 7, we, we can't do that. We'll have to accept maybe about 100 students, mm -hmm. you know, because we were running like 45 students per class. Uh, our classrooms would not be able to, we would not be able to um, observe social distancing with 45 students in a class. Schools must also consider in their plan temperature checks, routine sanitization, arrangements for break and lunch times, plus transportation for students. Meanwhile, addressing Parliament on Tuesday, Minister with Responsibility for Education Carl Samuda said he was aware of the challenges which confront schools given the new normal. He, however, acknowledged that it will come at a hefty cost. Janela Precious, TVJ News.